Hey guys, don't mind my glasses, Mark. <laughs> anyway, and I got sun yesterday. Ugh, I'm okay, but I got sun. And if you guys hear that in the background, it's my pig. But I have to show you this. I am not condoning that you need to eat this or that it's good for you, because it's not. But I'm pretty proud right now. Let me show you. I went to Taco Bell. I'm being vegan. How do you do that? But well, there's actually some options, but I'm like, but what's actually good? But let me show you. I got a taco salad, and you still get the beans. They're in there. Beans and rice. And then you get a thing of salsa. I am thrilled right now. And I did get a Diet Pepsi. I did. I did. But, you know, again, not healthy, no. But... Am I hungry? And does it sound good? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna eat, and I'm really sorry if you hate that on camera. Some people love it. I'm not really one of them, but, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I have something that I want to get your opinion on. So this morning, I woke up, took kid out of school, blah, 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 and I just really wasn't feeling like filming. Just wasn't feeling it. And then I realized that it is the semi-annual sale at Bath and Body Works started today. And so I was like, well, let's go do that. And then it clicked as I was leaving. I'm like, I wonder if Bath and Body Works is considered cruelty free. So that opened the door to me looking into that, which was a good thing. I'm like, I'm glad I thought of it. I'm glad I took the time to check into it before just going out and buying. And turns out they're not. I did not go. And I'm totally good with that. Like, I'm not bummed. Well, I mean, I'm bummed, but not because I didn't get anything, just because I'm bummed that are not cruelty free. But here's my dilemma, and I'd really like your opinion on this. And don't beat me up, because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think of it that way until I like left so I did not go there but I did go to Victoria's Secret well Victoria's Secret is co-owned essentially with Bath and Body Works I'm pretty sure about that if they're not it's still the same thing their beauty products are not cruelty free I did not hurt so here's the thing so I go in there and they're having their sale too. I'm pretty sure they're co-owned. And um, they, I, I did not purchase anything that was beauty products, no lotions, no body sprays, no cosmetics at all. I just got clothing. And I'll show you what I got to go to cute. But here I am now walking out with my bag and I'm thinking like, okay, did I just really like defeat the purpose anyway? Because I was planning to go out to go to Bath and Body Works then scratch that idea because of that and then just went to like a sister store of it but I still didn't purchase any of the products that are tested on animals but yet I still supported a company that does do you know what I mean that makes sense so whether you're vegan or not what is your like stance on that theory Okay, yes, I didn't purchase anything that was technically tested on animals. And I'm good with my purchases. I feel fine about it. But I'm just like, what? Did I not do the right thing? But then, it makes me think about like, you know, and I've said before multiple times that me and Nate love to go to P.F. Chang's right now because they have a lot of vegetarian options that are delicious. But the, the restaurant chain itself totally still sells meat, you know, and, but we're, we're still going just because we're not buying the meat and stuff, like, we're still supporting that, like, business, so, I mean, I think you could, like, dissect everything, and I, I, I don't know, though, like, I just, I don't know what the right answer is, it's a tough one, I don't know, so that's my spiel, and then I went to Vitamin World, and you guys saw in my uh, bedroom tour, I think anyway, it was, I have that little like Mr. Diffuser thing for like essential oils and I love it and we always load it with eucalyptus or thing. Well, I wanted to get some more eucalyptus because we're almost out of the oils. 
and I saw that they had one in black because I have a white one and it like changes colors. Anyway, I wanted a black one too. So I got a black one. I'm gonna get it for like our kitchen. Then I got, um, I'll show you, but I got like some more essential oils and like some lemon and orange ones too to put like in the kitchen I thought would be good. But yeah, I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna finish eating though. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you the stuff. So this is from Vitamin World. But this might look familiar to you if you guys did watch my bedroom tour, which is linked below, so if you are interested. But this is it, and it's really simple to use. All you literally do is click the mist button to like turn it on and it comes out up here. And then you can turn on the light if you want, and this whole thing like lights up different colors, this like graded part. But this is $30, and it's by like that spa room brand, a spa room essentials. And we're really happy with it. We've had the one that we have now for like probably about a year, and it's fine. And then she did give me a coupon for $10 cash if you spend $50 for next month. And then I just picked up some more of this eucalyptus, which I love. I've bought this like three times now. And then I got this. It's like a different brand, but I've never tried, but we'll see. Um... But yeah, sweet orange and lemon, and these are strong, but that's the idea. They all need to be really strong because you mix it with water in this, and it's good. It's really good. So that's all I got there. So that was like about 50 bucks for all of it. And then, so let me show you what I got from Victoria's Secret. And I didn't even get like underwear or bras or anything. I just got like clothes. But um, they like they said, they had their sale going so it's just a tank top I just thought it'd be comfy and I'm gonna start like walking a little bit more I was doing that for a while but I really need to get going on that again I took the dog this morning which anyway whole other thing but um I thought this was cute it's very simple I like the color it says pink on the front there and then it also says it down the back and it's like a little razor back type um yeah then, I don't know, this one I'm kind of meh, the, even the material on it is a little bit different, but I was like, it's all right. It was, oh, let me tell you the price too, because yours might have the sale going on too, $15.99 for that, normally $27, this one was normally $29, and let me put it up, it's kind of um like a thicker strap tank top. And it just says pink on it. And it's kind of this weird purple. I don't know how it's showing on camera, but it almost looks like a dark violet. But at the same time, it could also look like a faded out blue. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It'll do the trick. And then they had all their PJs and stuff on sale. Okay, so I laid it out so it's not jumping all over the place. But I just thought this looked really, really comfy. And this is like a set. And it's just a gray tee. And it comes with these pants. And kind of that classic Victoria's Secret stripe. And I'm going to try the, the, those go together. You know, you mix and match everything, right? And then it comes with this little sleepy mask. And there's no joke here, guys. No joke at all. My husband will steal that. Yeah, he sleeps with these. It's ridiculous <laughs> and then I got this like sleep tee and it's just a long shirt it's supposed to just be like you wear this only and I got it in an extra large because they had that option and I'm like well just to be comfy why not and I'm, now I'm like looking at it and I got it laid out I'm good with it I don't care but it does look kind of big <laughs> but whatever right doesn't that look big that's like the size of the whole couch cushion Whatever, it's gonna be comfy. But the rest of these I got in large. But yeah, that is a big difference. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> but that's what I got. So I thought I'd show you guys. But yeah, I'll get the um, essential oil thing set up. Maybe I'll do it over here. Come with me. My kid just got this yesterday. He's obsessed with Paw Patrol, like obsessed. Anyway, but yeah, this is like the little wine rack thing that we like never use, but um, 
maybe I'll like set it up like right here. Cause there's a, you need an outlet to plug it in. And there is one, like it'd be ideal to have it um, in like the middle of our island, right? Cause then it would just be like in the middle of the room shooting out, that'd be great. Yeah, we got burnt yesterday, there's the aloe. But, and although there is an outlet to the island, which is great for like, you know, even what I do like um, the rice cooker and that kind of thing, I totally use those. But I think it would look kind of stupid with the having it in the middle and then a big cord going down your counter. Like I hate stuff like that, I hate that. <laughs> so it doesn't really work to be in the middle. You know what I'm saying? And I, I have lots of outlets along the end too. Um, or, it, you know, kind of set back on the counters. But I, I don't know if it'll be like too trapped underneath, you know? I'm thinking right here. I wish you guys could talk to me live and go, yes, Kim, do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get it set up and I will show you. Okay, let me show you. I put it over here, like I said. And so it's plugged in, but it's not on. Let me just take off the top and it just pops right off. And then you're gonna have to fill it with some water and it doesn't matter like what you use to do it. And you're gonna fill it to the max line, which is like basically where this little plastic ledge starts. Yeah, so it's, it's not much at all. And then according to this one, uh, it says to do like nine drops. I just kind of, you know, just, just go, <laughs> whatever. It smells good. Oh God. And I'm doing the orange one just to try it out. And then all you do is you put your top back on. That's it. And then you can turn your mist and then you can turn on your light. And then it changes colors on its own. I don't know if you guys can like see it or not, but it's coming out, right? It's so cool. It's so simple. I like it. And I will say, now having used this for months in our room, I filled it with water, I did it with the, the oils. This runs for about three hours and then it auto turns off. And you have to fill it with water again, I would say every second or third time you use it. So I'll be able to t hit the mist button like twice at least on this. Oh, yeah. And they do now though. They have it in black and then they have it in the white. So now I got one of each. But if I can find this, cause I think it's like, I got it, like I said, at like Vitamin World, but these are sold now like online. I'll link it below. And if you guys are interested, you should get one. I recommend these ones. Cause there's all kinds of different ones, but I, I like these cause they're just, simple and they're black and white so it goes you know i like it it does smell really good it smells like i'm peeling oranges that's what it smells like anyway just thought i would show you guys good morning guys i am taking a walk with the dog say hello dog I don't know if you can see him or not. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. It is 8.30, I believe. I just got home from dropping off the kiddo. But yeah, that's what's going on. Thought I'd say hello. I don't want him to see me, cause then he'll get out. <laughs> but he's taking a dip in his pool. He can't help it. He just can't. He loves it. He hates the heat. I'm right there with him. It sucks. He's funny. He's just sitting there. Hey guys. So I just saw that I thought I would tell you guys this because it's just kind of crazy but kind of cool too. So Trisha Paytas just uploaded a video on her like vlog channel of like calling her subscribers because she just released her latest music album and she like called a bunch of her subscribers and stuff and at that time that she was doing that I tweeted her and of course I bought her album 
And I just, because I do support her, even though she's crazy, but, <laughs> but that's okay. But if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that like she was a very big part in influencing me doing what I'm doing now. Um, because she is kind of that like no guts, no glory, man. Like she just puts it out there and I love it. She's crazy, but it's good. <laughs> but so I had tweeted her when she was doing this in real time of like calling people and stuff. And I just, one of my very, very, very first videos, which is so funny. I just look back on it right now and kind of like skim through it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's not that it's bad, but I feel like I'm so different now already. And it's only been like six, seven months. It's like, it's just, I'm more comfortable what have you it's not bad but I look at it and I'm like critiquing it and I'm like Kim that was like your third video <laughs> but anyway um I just had tweeted her saying you know I don't want nothing back in return you know for the buying her album and stuff I was like but I would, I would love if you could watch if you would watch this because it's all about her and she did and she subscribed to me I'm like what and it's just so crazy and it's pretty cool it's just it's crazy and so she like I said though she just um, uh, put that video out there of like calling people and stuff and she like talked about that on there and I'm like oh my god and then so now guys I'm gonna show you something I'm on my like analytics right now okay hold on so I'll give you a little little background here. <laughs> but this is my on real time and how this works, guys, just so you know. Um, in the last 48 hours, this is like my estimated views. And you know, I'm sure it's not 100%, but it gives you an idea. And then, and this updates every like 10 seconds, it's crazy. And then the last 60 minutes, it'll tell you your estimated views. Then you can go down here and it'll give you like your top five of the last 48 hours of which videos those were and the last 60 minutes. Well, if I click on estimated views last 60 minutes, look, that's the video I'm talking about is this top one here. And this was again, one of my very first and it's at 24 views right now. Well, again, she just uploaded her video like less than an hour ago. So people are coming from that. They have to be there. They're, it has to right you this is not gonna be a video that has like hits on it at this point when it never really has over the months and see here's even another one of I did about her January 14th of Trisha Paytas can't have children because she put a video out there about that and it, it, it may look like oh my god what am I gonna say no it's all good but <laughs> but I'm noticing that's getting some hits on it now too and it's just so crazy and I've gotten a few even like subscribers and stuff and you know I think it's so cool but I also you know I want people to stay because they they do like me you know and <laughs> not just because of someone shouting out you know but it's just so crazy I thought I would show you guys I just thought that was so crazy yeah um pretty cool pretty cool but yeah let me show you here real quick too because i was just this is just my little moment i went oh my gosh so if i go here to like this is like my home page it should look probably pretty similar if you're on a computer on my channel as well and if i go up here though for me and click on these subscribers and if i go to most popular there she is right on the top she's my most popular um, subscriber and it was yeah six days ago and I'm like oh my gosh just so crazy but you know I just thought I would share that with you guys pretty cool <laughs> anyways I thought I'd show you I got another Vox box I just checked my mail I'm actually sitting in the parking lot to get my kiddo and I checked the mail before I left and I got the new Tresemme Vox box. Let me open it real quick. I keep saying Vox box, which is what they call it, but it's through Influencer. And guys, I did a video on Influencer. I can link it below. And if you have not done it or heard of it, because it's totally free and it's kind of cool. And I did it for the Pantene Pro V air spray that I got. And this is my second box. This is cool. Plus, you know, I gotta say, these are full-size bottles. That's cool because the air spray, which I actually really loved, um, I only got like a little tiny travel one, which is totally fine. 
but these are full size steps. This is that like new, um, where you like do the conditioner first and the shampoo second. It's kind of weird, right? But I've heard of this, but I've never tried it. So I'm gonna have to give it a shot. You guys know that I love the Pura Dior uh, shampoo and conditioner that I did get sent to me for review but I have been loving it and I have a discount code for you guys linked below on that and I'm like that's what I'm still using I love it but I mean I do want to be like try this and be able to give you guys a review but yeah I just want to show you guys but I'll, I'll probably have like a review coming on it like soon but not super soon I want to try it for weeks like I've done with previous hair products just to give it a good review but I have to let you know but I thought I'd show you I'm gonna stop by the PO box too because I haven't done that in a little while and guys just so you know just pointing at that shampoo um, <laughs> um, the PO box that I did get to for business purposes too um, but but I really wanted it for you guys too if you ever want to send me something I would love that and don't take that as like I want you to spend money on me I, I mean a letter you know um, I would love that and I was really excited to get it so yeah the info is always linked in every single video down below um, the address for it and what have you but yeah just thought I'd throw that out there but I'm gonna check that on our way out and see if there's anything good we will see probably junk mail what are you gonna do let's check it out check it out <laughs> what one? you remember this. yeah you go do it this one. next one down there you go. I see it in there. See it in yeah. Oh, what else? Uh oh. This is on the Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well done. That's so good. Good job. Guys, I definitely have more entries than I did on my last giveaway. And there's some on the back too. And it's still got another full day. And I'm doing my best, guys. I really am trying to keep up with it all, but I think we're good. Yes. So one more day. I know this will be out after it's all done, but I will vlog tomorrow night when I do figure out who the winner is. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, I am just finished filming and do you guys like this? It's so different for me, but I got a few, like a month ago now, if you remember, I got some Morphe eyeshadows and the little singles and I got like this breakfast at Tiffany's one and it's like that Tiffany's blue and I had not played with it yet and I'm like, I want to do something. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something and I like it. I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of like the smoky eye, but with that pop of like blue in it. I don't know. I did film it. I have not looked back at it yet. I'm importing. And um, hopefully I'll have like a tutorial for it. I'm careful when I say that because sometimes, you know, things could be out of focus or whatever. I think it's going to be all right. But um, before I commit to it. But I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of different. I like that it's blue, but it's not like... I think it's still wearable. It's not like, you know, that blue. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. I'd wear whatever anyway. But yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I also filmed another empties of the food um, empties, which I haven't even gotten the first one out yet, but it'll be coming very, very soon. Anyway, I've been going through it. And um, what else did I do? Oh, and I did like a hairstyle type one with like how I style my hair now and super simple but um yeah so that was good and tomorrow Nate will be on vacation well he works like a half day tomorrow and then he'll be off but um so I'm just trying to get like kind of ahead in case we don't get to filming because I think we're just gonna really kick back and we'll vlog we'll totally vlog but um just enjoy it's our kiddo's birthday next week and he's out of school this is the last day of school's tomorrow too 
So it's just kind of like, let's just kick back, you know, but I'm sure we'll film something and I'm sure I will too, but that way I'm ready to go. So yeah, that's what's going on. But, um, I probably will also have like another grocery haul because I'm sure we'll go tomorrow after school and get some stuff. But I don't know, guys. Like, I've been feeling so good. I really have. And I'm not going to like discount that at all. Um, but, but the number on the scale, which I hate scales. I said it on my last one. I hate it. But here you go. When you own one, that's what you do. I, it keeps going up. I keep gaining weight. And I'm like, but I feel better and I I don't know I can look back and know that I've eaten things that are like you know just because they're vegan doesn't mean they're the best options and doesn't mean that they're not processed highly and all that so there is definitely things that I can change still and then assess my situation if I'm eating truly truly like fruits and vegetables as my true primary like all the time and I'm still gaining then I might question something but <laughs> I haven't done that entirely so I feel like there's things I can change but it's just so like oh, I'm so like disheartening when you like actually have been doing really really good and you're feeling really good but that number is just creeping and it really is and I'm like god damn it <laughs> I don't know but yeah I hope that this vlog doesn't get super super long let me know guys I know I will say I feel like over the last few weeks or so my vlogs have definitely gone up in views which is great like I'm so glad that you guys enjoy them I know for me on Sundays and that's when I post mine on Sundays I really really look forward to watching honeybee philosophy um um, Melissa Parada is her name and she's here on YouTube and she posts her weekly vlog every Sunday morning she does it at like 5 a.m. even I think it's scheduled and I wake up Sunday mornings and that's what I do I lay in bed and I watch her vlog and I totally look forward to it and I don't know why it really why but it's my Sunday morning thing it's my thing and I kind of wonder I'm like you know is it kind of like that for you guys too like do you enjoy just knowing Sunday there's gonna be that vlog just kick back enjoy coffee and watch them because at first I'm like no one does that I do so <laughs> you know but with that said do you guys prefer when vlogs are a little longer or not I usually try to keep around the 30 minute mark or under I think this one might be a little bit over but um, let me know because I don't mind it doesn't bother me if they're long it doesn't make it hard on me or anything um, but I also know that they can get a little bit too much when you know if it's too long people don't have the time and I totally get it so anyway let me know your feedback I'm totally open to whatever it is I don't mind at all so yeah yeah but I'm gonna get to editing a little bit it is 11 o'clock so I have a little bit of time that's what I'm going to do. I want to get for friends and for cakes. You're going to give them to your friends? Yeah. She likes friends like cakes. They like cakes? Yeah. You yeah. do like cakes. What's your favorite cake? It's chocolate. Yeah. Okay, you're doing good. Who are you making them for? I'm making them for your friends. For your friends? Yeah. For Thomas. For Thomas? Yeah, again. Yeah, who else? What's it's Tay John's. Tay John's. That's for Victorios. Victorio. That's for Thomas. Again? Yeah. Oh. That's for Miss Edwards. Okay. Good job. You did it. Yeah! Good job. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. Okay, guys. It is that time. I'm keeping my voice down because I don't want my kid to wake up, but it is time to do the giveaway. I'm excited. I have 259 entries. So, and what I did is I put numbers next to everyone so it makes my life easier. When I put that number in, I'll just know exactly who's who on which number. And how I did it, just to show you, is like the first one, the tallies are like, she got five entries, so it's she's number one through five. The next one had three, so that they're number six through eight, you know. So, did it that way. And then, if you come over here to this like random.org, you can do this auto generator thing. That's what I did last time. 
let's do 259 so let's see here we go I get all nervous oh my gosh Brittany Wooten she is such a sweet girl that's awesome she'll be so excited oh so cool anyway I was like a low number I counted all that <laughs> but um, guys just like in the past do not get discouraged. I mean, it's like bittersweet. I'm happy for the person, but then I feel sad because I don't want you guys to be sad. And, but just know that I will totally do this again. And I hope you guys stick around for the next one for sure. But congrats, Brittany. That's super cool. But I thought I would show you guys.